Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the uh, Coffee Mug tutorials. Today we're going to talk about uh, production, just keep going and production in Business Central. And I had actually created two items here, uh, coffee beans, which is the raw material, and ground coffee, which is uh, the finished good. So if I go into ground coffee here um, and go into the production site, I can see I've actually set up production bill of material number right here. Uh, and if I go into that and show how that was done, it's pretty simple. Basically, the finished good is ground coffee, and the ingredients are going to be coffee beans, and there's going to be one pound and 10% scrap. That's it. So actually, if I go out of that, I, one thing to note, I don't need the routing number. If I'm just doing um, production with no necessary capacity planning, uh, then the routing number is not necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and actually create a least production order. Um, so I go in here, just hit new, and hit enter to get a new one, go into item, and the item that I actually want to make is ground coffee, like that. And, uh, and then I say how much quantity I need, I'm going to, let's say, do 80 pounds, and then I just hit refresh production order, and hit OK. That will actually create the... Uh, the finish good line here for 80 and if I go into the line for example and take a look at the uh, components you can see that it's estimating 88 pounds for 80 so because there's 10 percent scrap so you can actually um, see that the system is adding the 10 percent in the requirement so how do we actually get something out of this what we can do is go here into the production journal in the line and say that we actually used 90 and we output it 80 pounds so all we have to do here is record the component and the output and go ahead and post say yes now it's been posted so we can now take a look at uh, the actual item so uh, actually from the production order I can go ahead and take a look at the entries that were created uh, and that's the same thing as the item. It's basically just filtering the item ledger entries based on the production order. And I can see here that I have consumed 88 and 2. So I actually consumed 90 and it splits it out because we did do 2 more than we expected. And then the output is 80. Um, and if I go into my inventory list right now, I can see that the ground coffee actually have 81. I had made one before, I was testing before this video, and now I made 80, so actually I have 81. If I go into here, navigate, entries, let your entries, I can see that this has been outputted. So that's how you actually convert. Uh, maybe next time we'll move into how do we actually get the cost over? You can see the cost is zero here. I think on the items I have just zero cost, so I have not gone into the costing of things, uh, but that would be the logical step to analyze that and set up something with real costs. So until next time, uh, thumbs up if you like this and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thank you.